Good morning from our apartment in Tirana, Albania. If you're new here, my name is Ellie. This is Senshi behind the camera. I'm from Chicago. He's from Bosnia. We met this summer and fell in love while I was backpacking the world and decided to take the shindig together. So today we're doing the best day trip from Tirana, Albania to Kruje or Kruja in Albanian. Uh, if you are familiar with Barat or Girocaster, it looks really similar, except it's only an hour away, 200 lek, which is what, two euros bus ride away from Tirana. Super easy and you get all the same amazing views. So we have our backpack packed with our snacks. Of course, we're ready for the day. Let's head out. Some, some stores in Albania take euro sundown, so you always get an exchange there. Thank you. Okay, we are loaded. 50 euro is 5,850. People here are selling everything. We just passed the man who was selling a weight scale like you can weight yourself for money literally on the street we're on our way to the city bus station which you can find just east of skender bay square and every city bus is 40 lek which is like 40 cents it's nothing and that will take you look for which bus is it 78 l 78 or um, the terminal, it just said it'll terminal. It'll say terminal, which is, it'll take <clears> you <throat> to the north-south terminal, which is the big bus station on the outskirts of the city, just five kilometers out. Um, that then connects you to everywhere else in Albania. Super easy, really cheap, let's do it. Crazy streets of Albania though. out of the bus and now it becomes wild. Absolutely nuts, no order, you have to find your own bus, ask the driver, fight for it. Super crazy, huh? Had 30 minutes until the bus, so we crack them coffees as always. Somehow we managed to find ours, so we are loading to Kruje. We were on the way to the bazaar, but uh, you know, we find some coffees with a view and then we decided to have our little snacks that we prepared this morning. So good. And this view. What else could you ask for? Okay, Ellie, why are we visiting Kruje? Kruje is one of the most historically significant towns in all of Albania. It's the hometown of Skender Bey, who we have here, who is the national hero of Albania because he led the forces to fight off the Ottomans and push them out of Albania and allegedly saved the West from further Ottoman expansion. So all Albanians unite over Skender Bey. He's everywhere. He's in the middle of Tirana. You might be familiar 
here with the towns of Berat and Giro Kester in Albania. Um, they have super similar charming architecture and landscapes as Kruje, but are a lot more touristy. So we opted for this one. It's also a really quick day trip from Tirana, super cheap. Um, and the best view right here can be found as you're entering the old town. So let's check that out next. <laughs> because everyone keeps stopping you even if you look something or don't look at all everyone's gonna pull your sleeve and bring you to the shop so well, <laughs> so I guess that's <laughs> got out of the Grand Bazaar and we are making our way to the castle up there. We're officially in Kruje Castle which is dating back to the 5th century. People have been inhabiting this exact hill since the 2nd century, but this castle and fortress was erected around the 5th. And in the 1400s, Skenderbeg and his cronies used this as the main point to fight off the Ottomans. It's crazy to think that people would stand on these walls and had fights and took a bow and arrow and like shoot guys. It's crazy to think that, like, even taking a hot oil, like boiling hot oil, when they're climbing, you pour that. I mean, I don't know if that happened, but I saw those in movies. So I think that's how they fight. I don't see any other way, but it's like super crazy to think about. And it's still holding pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Fifteenth yeah, century so. castle, which is bearing Sorry, right it's here. Sorry, dump. I haven't cleaned in centuries. <laughs> Cannons. We love them, big old cannons. Pioneers used to ride these bad boys for miles. <laughs> There's a few museums in the castle which you can visit if you have time. I've heard one of the best museums in Albania is in there and it's only 200 lek, which is like a euro 50 or something like that. We're not gonna head there because the last bus to Tirana is at four. So we're gonna meander our way back to the bus, but in case you're interested in visiting yourself. Oh, okay. On our way back from the castle to the bus station, we had to go through the Grand Bazaar again that was super super crazy we were the last one of the last ones from the castle so the Grand Bazaar was totally empty and we were easy pickings we were hounded every shop was like come 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 just like one quick look and, and it's not like two shops three shops it's like hundred shops on the street and back everyone back, like, come in. everyone is just like come here come here come here even if you have a slight look at something yeah you're gonna get your eyes. crushed just look down so i don't know just how that info is gonna help you but just i don't know do what you want with that it's crazy <laughs> so to recap we would highly recommend this day trip from tirana to kruja one of the most iconic towns to albanians which cost less than four euros per person